And developing tonight, Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh says he will not withdraw his nomination. This as a second woman, this one from Boulder, comes forward with another sexual assault accusation against him. Debbie Ramirez did an interview with The New Yorker over the weekend saying Kavanaugh exposed himself to her when they were both students at Yale. Denver 7's Tom Mustin joins us now from the newsroom. And Tom, reaction has been mixed. And Ann, it all depends on what side of the aisle you're on. Now, many Republicans have slammed the accusations, but Democrats like Dianne Feinstein have asked the FBI to investigate and to have Kavanaugh's nomination delayed until that investigation is complete. Meanwhile, the eyes of the nation have focused on Colorado. She's dedicated her life to um, working with victims. Dr. Lisa Calderon spoke for her friend, Debbie Ramirez, a woman now at the center of a political firestorm. For her to come forward, I know it's taken a lot from, from her, and I know it's probably taking a toll. Ramirez lives in Boulder. In an interview with The New Yorker, she alleged sexual misconduct by Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh when they were both students at Yale in the 1980s. According to Ramirez, Kavanaugh exposed himself to her while they were classmates. Both had been drinking, and she pushed him away. This second accusation against Kavanaugh has placed Ramirez in the national spotlight, a place Calderon says Ramirez never wanted to be. Debbie knows the consequences of speaking up. Unfortunately, nothing can, can prepare you for this circus, this political circus that's happening. Calderon trained Ramirez 10 years ago as a victim advocate at the Boulder Safe House Progressive Alliance for Nonviolence. She says Ramirez Ramirez is fun-loving and outdoorsy, but also very private. She never mentioned the alleged incident, which Calderon says is not unusual. One of the things that we um, teach is that we never tell victims what to do. We present options. After the accusation became public, Kavanaugh quickly fired back, saying, quote, the alleged incident from 35 years ago never took place. This is a smear, plain and simple. The White House agrees. His family has suffered. What's going on is not something that should happen. And Brett Kavanaugh is an absolute outstanding person. Hopefully, he will be confirmed quickly. Denver attorney Chris Decker says the damage to Kavanaugh may have already been done. The allegation of uh, some sort of sexual assault or, or sexual battery um, can alone, uh, just the allegation can, can alter someone's life forever. That's why it's so important that the criminal justice system and, and indeed the media and everyone else gets it right. And as Brett Kavanaugh prepares to battle allegations from decades ago, Dr. Calderon says she believes her friend is telling the truth. She's a good person, and so it, it really hurts me to see her being discredited, including by the President of the United States. And we have just learned some new information about the other woman accusing Kavanaugh of sexual assault. Christine Blasey Ford says she's willing to meet one-on-one -on -one with senators to tell her side of the story. She is expected to testify on Thursday. Well, much more on this developing story coming up tonight at 6. In the newsroom, Tom Mustin, Denver 7. Thank you, Tom. And this story